Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificent, and marvelous. And I just wanted to come on through because I think I'm going to have to really come on through with a lot of uh, videos to show some encouraging and loving and kind words to people. Because I pick up a sense of despondency like no other. Um, my At night especially, um, especially with the time change, it's like, you know, it's, before you know it, it's dark, you know, like around 5 p.m. on the West Coast. And so I heard some people talking on the East Coast saying the same thing, <laughs> like they're closing up shop at 6 p.m. You know, because of, because of the, the time, you know, the time change and this and that and the other. And it's not a coincidence about how things are happening with our, with our climate and with our time and with our, um, the cosmic part of it all. And, you know, the the the, uh, the the meanings that we that that are unknown to us about the time change and why is it getting dark so soon and then you'll get people that don't know what the hell they're talking about rambling about this and rambling about that because they don't really understand either but they'll 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 say you know I'm telling you it's a cosmic event we're entering into a cosmic event that no one's going to be able to explain or if they could explain it's going to be so unbelievable to them that they are not going to accept it and that's what it really is. That's what it boils down to. No one wants to accept that this planet is changing. Okay. And it's, it's, it's something that cannot be controlled per se. Uh, I mean, the planet is behaving as, as planets behave. They are, you know, they do what they can to survive just like you and I. And so I told you we are going to be in, in, in a rescue phase from here on out. It's going to be about rescuing people not saving people it's rescuing literally figuratively and metaphorically and it's more so rescuing them from themselves and help and hoping to uh slow down the damage to their consciousness so there's going to be a lot of despondency going on a lot of people are just not going to understand what is going on with this planet well it's cause and effect and so i'm gonna I'm, so i'm gonna talk a lot because I want to offer my support. I want to offer my love, my universal love that it is not you. And I told you, we got to take away this personal uh, involvement with everything that goes on, whether it's on social media, whether it's on the news, whether it's this or that and the other. We take things too personally and, and make it all about ourselves. It is not about ourselves. It's about the, 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 the planet, the, the, you know, the planet which consists of almost 10 billion people. We're talking 10 billion people here. And so we're really going to need to get a grip, a lot of us who are just trapped in darkness. And I told you, there's nothing negative about darkness, but if you're trapped in, whether you're trapped in darkness or trapped in lightness, that's an issue because you ought to be able to neutralize all of that where it doesn't affect you as it does to where you want to harm yourself or harm other people. This is a cosmic event that no one prepared for and no one saw this coming. Most people just felt like, you know, this is, you know, it's a, a conspiracy theories. This is a hoax. This is fake news. This is this. This is no, no, it's not. This is a cosmic event that we are culminating towards as we are approaching the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Okay, we're going to see. We're going to see cosmic events. Now, whether you want to be delusional about it or not, that's that's going to be on you. But I'm saying it's going to cause a lot of people to become despondent because they're going to feel trapped in their darkness because they're being so extreme about everything. And they make things about them. Everything's about them. Everybody's teasing them. Everybody's bothering them. Everybody's targeting them. You know, a lot of people are being targeted. I was targeted myself. Okay, but... And I, I, could, have, I could have made it into a... A, a, a big event if I chose to but why what am I going to do that for you know they found nothing on me they realized that they had wasted taxpayer money targeting certain people and, and claiming that they are a threat to this planet a threat to this country when the threat is coming from the pyramids with the nuclear testing the ongoing war I'm telling you there are some people and it comes from both sides Democrat Republican side 
who want and independent who have their hand ready to put it on the uh, the button. They're ready to push that button. And I'm talking about the nuclear weapon. Okay, so anybody that's in delusion about that and not recognizing what happened in the 40s, okay, when they dropped those nuclear weapons on Japan, you don't think that can happen again? Okay, so we're delusional to believe otherwise. And that's why I said we need to we need to challenge our beliefs. Why wouldn't America drop another nuclear bomb on someone if they've done it once before? Or several times. I don't know, maybe once before, but we know of two uh two occasions when it happened in the forties. Okay, so again, the damage has been done. I will not be despondent and make it all about you, the individual. It's about the planet. We're all in this together. None of us can get out of this soul system. None of us. Okay? But yet we're open to where anybody else can come in here. We've had aliens on this planet for millions and millions of years. Okay? If why that is this a secret? You you ask yourself these questions. We've got to ask the right appropriate questions. Why is this stuff being hidden from us? There have been aliens here. There have been uh, aliens here, like I said, for millions of years. And our military... Our military looks. Uh, our military equipment looks like Lego sets to some of these uh, alien uh, populations that are on this planet, inside this planet, and circle around this planet. Okay, a lot of these advanced technologies from the they call them foreigners now. That's fine. Aliens, foreigners. Again, we have to elevate our our language anyway. Because, you know, saying alien is, is a bit, uh, has a bit of a negative connotation to it. But if you say foreigners, I think most people will be more accepting to listen to that. We have, we've had foreigners on this planet for millions and millions of years. We also have uh, uh, human beings on this planet that are, that are, for, uh, that are uh, descendants of these um, aliens or foreigners or extraterrestrials whatever you want to call it and they've been here for millions and millions of years okay so don't be fooled okay our military will not be able to protect us from any strike from any of these alien technologies that reside on this planet they're not going to be able to find them and definitely if they decide to take action as they keep uh, continually do by shooting down this and shooting down that shooting down balloons you know, being so illogical and irrational and crazy. And then I'm telling you, at some point, enough is enough. And we always say that. And certain people that are, be, that, you know, we all have a right to defend ourselves. That includes extraterrestrials. That includes foreigners. That includes aliens. Whatever you want to call it. They have a right to defend themselves too. Especially if they're not bothering anyone on this planet. Okay? So, that's the that's the danger that we face that we're going to have um, advanced technology once and for all in our craziness and our and our our intentions to always start war with people always uh, bestow ourselves with so much strength and power it's an illusion so this is to the military you know, I've, I've avoided saying things to the military, military directly, but I'm telling you, you're playing with fire. If you think you can take out alien, foreigners, extraterrestrials that have been on this planet for millions of years, watching your technology, while at the same time advancing their technology. Okay, your military is Lego to these foreigners. Don't play games. And pretending you don't know what I'm talking about as well. Okay, you're putting the life of this planet in danger and in jeopardy because you want to bestow yourself as strength. Okay, you, the military, will not be able to protect 10 billion people on, on the best of circumstances. Okay, with your Lego-style military. So, be honest with yourself. Don't take things personally. Don't get upset when someone questions your so-called strength. You, I can guarantee you, a lot of you are having sleepless nights. Those of you in the pyramid, those of you who, who want to bestow yourselves as so, that has the strength, 
that you are going to be able to protect 10 billion people. That's illogical, and you're not going to be able to do it. You can barely take care of yourselves, okay? Anyone is that in law enforcement, they know at the end of the day, if they don't come on board and accept the manipulation, deception, the lying, the indoctrination, they're going to be isolated and, and get despondent and, and, and want to take themselves out. Okay, so stop pretending that you have all this strength. You do not. You're playing games and you're playing mind games with the citizens of this country, the citizens on this planet. You do not have the strength to go after these so-called foreigners, which are also known as aliens and also known as uh, extraterrestrials. You're not going to be able to take them on. Okay, and they've stood by, a lot of them, watching and waiting for the opportunity to take us out if they want to and if they you know but what they, what's going to happen is they're going to enslave us even more now because they know that we cannot handle any type of responsibility we don't take accountability and we may, we always put everybody in jeopardy including the universe and other human beings that live outside our planet okay so this may sound crazy to people i can care less i know what i'm talking about and i know what i'm doing and i know a lot of other people are picking it up as well they want to be silent about it, and I don't blame you. I would be silent and make sure it is about self-preservation. Do not allow yourself to be targeted like some are that are still in prison because they thought they were doing the right thing to, to wake us up and tell us what's going on with our country and, in, and all over the world, okay? It's best to do the action in silence by repairing your consciousness and recognize that you have been indoctrinated, manipulated, and lied to. And this has been going on for millions and millions of years. Okay? There's nothing that I'm saying that cannot be proven. So wake up. Snap out of it. Get a grip. Protect your consciousness. Okay? I'm going to be hard for, the, for a, a couple of videos. Because I, like I said, I sense that people are picking it up. They understand that they have been, been made a fool of. And they are despondent. They're upset. And they're taking it out on themselves and they may take it out on others. I'm telling you to just, if you choose to, everything is free will. I'm going to talk to you about what it means when you do take your life and how it, how it caused devastation to your consciousness that you may not ever, ever recover from. No matter how many times you, you um, reincarnate or re reborn, which are not the right terms, but I'll, I'll explain that more as I, as I, go through this process okay we're in danger and it's not because of is it you know we don't you don't want to take it on and as an individual citizen if you are righteous as best you can you were a righteous individual you thought you were doing the right things when you found out that you had been made a fool of and been, and been manipulated a lot of people are taking that out on themselves and others i say i say just stand by and wait observe more watch and take it off the personal okay i want to send peace and love and trust me i'll be back